Hello everyone. Welcome to my class. In today's class, I am going to explain the properties of halo alkyl. Usually, the properties of chemical compounds are categorized into two parts. One has physical properties and then chemical properties. In today's class, I am going to explain the physical properties of halo alkyl. In the first physical property is physical state. See, observe here, usually the lower halo alkanes, lower halo alkanes or lower alkyl halides, they are colorless gases. They are colorless gases. And then the other alkyl halides are halo alkanes up to 18 carbons up to 18 carbons they are colorless liquids and behind this that is the halo alkanes having more than 18 carbons more than 18 carbons they are colorless solids with a pleasant odor okay, this is about the physical state of halo alkanes and the next physical property is the solubility of halo alkane so observe Halo alkanes are insoluble in water. This is because they are weakly polar in nature. The polarity of halo alkanes is because of the electronegativity difference between carbon and halogen. You know that halogens are highly electronegative, therefore, they can withdraw the bonded pair of electrons towards it. As a result, halogen gets partial negative charge. On the other hand, the electron density around carbon decreases. Therefore, the carbon becomes electron deficient and it gets partial positive charge. Even though there is a dipole, they are weakly polar in nature. Therefore, they are insoluble in water, but they are soluble in organic solvents. And the next physical property is the density of halo alkyl. So observe here, the density of halo alkyl increases with increase in atomic mass of halogen what does that mean you know that in case of halogen family you have fluorine chlorine bromine and then iodine as we move down the group atomic mass increases therefore for example among methyl fluoride methyl chloride methyl bromide and then methyl iodide the density the order of density among these halides is methyl fluoride having less density compared to methyl chloride which is having less density compared to methyl bromide and which is having less density compared to methyl iodide it means among alkyl halides alkyl hydride having high density and alkyl fluorides having low density. This is because of atomic size of halogen or in other words, atomic mass of halogen. Okay, the next property is melting point as well as the boiling point of halo alkyl. Usually, the first point regarding melting and boiling point of halo alkyl. Usually, halo alkanes having less melting and boiling points compared to their parent alkene. What does it mean? Very simple. For example, I will consider methyl chloride as an example. The parent of methyl chloride is sorry, ethyl chloride is ethane. See observe here. The parent alkane of ethyl chloride is ethane usually the experimental evidence shows that the parent alkane having less boiling point or in other words the halo alkanes having more boiling or higher boiling and melting points compared to their parent alkane therefore here ethyl chloride having more boiling point or higher boiling point compared to ethane and the melting as well as the boiling points of halo alkanes 
increases with increase in the size of alkyl groove melting as well as the boiling point of haloalkenes increases with increase in size of alkyl group what does it mean for example here i will consider methyl bromide then ethyl bromide then propyl bromide ch3 ch2 ch2 cr look at these bromides as we move from this compound to this the number of carbons in alkyl group increases it means the size of alkyl group increases have given the point as the size of alkyl group increases the melting and boiling point of halo alkene also increases therefore among these halides methyl bromide having less melting and boiling points compared to ethyl and which is having less melting as well as boiling points compared to propyl bromide and then it is important to note that as the size of alkyl group increases the melting as well as boiling point increases why this is because as the size of alkyl group increases the surface area increases if the surface area increases then melting and boiling point of compound also increases therefore the main reason for increase in melting as well as boiling point of halo alkenes with increase in the size of alkyl group is because the increase in surface area of alkyl group okay next among isomeric halo alkenes the melting as well as the boiling points decreases with increase in branching what does it mean for example here i will consider ch3 ch2 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 cl butyl chloride on the other hand i will consider tertiary butyl chloride ch3 c cl and here ch3 and then ch3 look at these compounds these two having same molecular formula but the only difference is the structure of carbon chain here you have no branch it is a straight carbon chain and here you have two branches so observe as branching in alkyl group increases melting as well as the boiling point of that halo alkene decreases this is because as branching increases the surface area decreases if the surface area of alkyl group decreases melting as well as boiling point decreases okay this is about the melting and boiling points of halo alkene Good dear students, I will end up this session with uh, the physical properties of halo alkene. In the next class, I am going to engage the chemical properties of halo alkene in detail with certain examples. Okay, thank you.